Today I'm going to be showing you in this video specifically why you can never reciprocate a woman's high interest towards you. That means for all of you guys out there where you have had a situation where a woman is into you, she maybe approached you first, she maybe was text messaging you first a lot throughout the day or she started to initiate the contact. What I'm going to be showing you in this video is how majority of all men screw this up to the point where the woman loses attraction. So I'm going to show you exactly what not to do as well as what to do. Now, after this video is over, be sure to go down below. You click the link in the description. You check out the full length MBT masculine behavioral technique, full length end to end webinar presentation that I put together for you, because inside of that, we're going to be taking some of these concepts even further. And that way you can copy paste them into your dating life and get results at an even quicker pace. Let's dive in. Now, step by step, I'm going to be showing you why to never reciprocate a woman's high interest. What we have to start with is the big illusion. Okay, smoke screens and mirrors, the big illusion. The big illusion is that you think or you believe that a specific woman wants you. Now, at this exact moment, she does. Let me explain. She could be direct messaging you on Facebook or Instagram first. Okay, comment below. How many of you guys have ever had this? You get a random follow from a specific woman, or you get a random direct message from a woman, or you notice that a woman is harding like stories or past posts, stuff like that. She's trying to get at you. Okay, this could be one form. Another form, how many of you guys have ever had this? They just straight up approach you. She works up the courage and she comes over. Or what can also happen is she starts to send a friend to go over to approach you. How many of you guys have ever had that happen? Another thing that might happen is she sees you in public. Okay. You do not know her, meaning you don't know this woman. And then she goes and she follows you on Instagram and you're sitting there and you see if the follow come through and you click her profile and you're like, huh, I wonder how this girl even found me. All of this happens. Now, what this means in this exact instance is she's sending you signals that she has chosen you. Okay. She has chosen you at this very minute. Okay. She wants you. She does believe that she wants you to make that approach and she wants you to start to talk to her to see where this goes. Here's the thing though. The game is not over. The game has only began. The game just began. See, most men don't understand this. They think that the woman's pre sold on you. Okay. They think that, that you, you're, you're so high value that you're pre qualified. So that woman is pre sold on your value. No, that is not how this works. This can go south very quick. If you lay your cards incorrectly, the reason being is because women are all status driven. Say this with me one more time. Women are all status driven. If Leonardo DiCaprio gains 55 pounds and doesn't fit into any of his clothes anymore, he's still Leonardo DiCaprio. This is what I mean, how they're status driven. Women are trying to get a read on where you're at amongst the other men. So 24 seven, what's that woman doing 24 seven? She's trying to get a read on your sexual market value. She's trying to see what league you're in. Where do you stand amongst the other men? Say this with me again. Women are all status driven 24 seven. She's trying to get a read on your sexual market value. That means this. If she approaches you first, okay, only one signal should go through your head. One and only signal. There's only one thing that should pop through your head. And that's this. She thinks my sexual market value right now is higher than hers. That's all that should go through your head. She thinks that my sexual market value is above hers. This is what she thinks in this one moment. That's why she's sending you a choosing signal. That's why she's staring at you. That's why she maybe worked up the courage to talk to you first. That's why she maybe worked up the courage to tell her friend to go approach you and have the friend come back and say, Hey, my friends into you. This is why that's the only thing that should come through your head in this moment. Okay. She believes you like you just you standing there or you as a person, you at this very moment have more status than her. Women are status driven. Okay. Women are status driven. Like, like the way they look at men or the way they look at their dating situations is polar opposite from yours. They are looking at what league you're in against the other men. They're comparing you and they're sizing you up 24 seven. This is what a woman's doing. Now, here's where this turns into really bad news. She's chosen you. She thinks your uh, sexual market value is high. Here's where this turns into bad news is the men start to reciprocate. So what happens is you notice that she has high interest. You notice that she has high interest. So what does that mean? That means she smiles at you. She's super friendly towards you. So what do you do? 
well, you think, well, hey, it's all, it's only normal. It's only logical for me to reciprocate that high interest. So what do you do now? You're nice and you smile and you're friendly back. Take this a step deeper. She says how attractive you are. She maybe even will verbally say this. She goes, Oh God, you're so attractive. It was so hard for me to come over here and talk to you. She says how attractive you are. So naturally you think it would be normal to say how cute she is too. take this a step further. She texts you back really quick or she, she messages you first and it's really quick after she saw you. So what do you do? You text her back quick to reciprocate that high interest. And you think, well, Hey, I, I think this girl's attractive too. I don't want to lose her. I, I don't want her to think I don't want her. I want her to think I do want her. Okay. So she texts you back quick. So now you text her back quick. Now you've lost her. You've reciprocated the interest. Women are not pre sold on you just by looking at you. Say this again. Women are not pre sold on you just by looking at you. Women are constantly gauging your sexual market value by trying to get a read on your status. Once she's found you attractive, how do you consistently give the right signals that show that you have high high status? I'm going to show you. Here's the issue that men run into when they're dating women. Men are oftentimes sold on what they see at face value. And guys, women just aren't like women are not so, like women aren't since men are sold on what they see at face value and women aren't. What does that mean? Guys, that means women look at everything. They're looking at your haircut. They're looking at your shoes. They're looking at how your vocal tone sounds. They're looking at how you how you groomed your beard that day. They're looking at uh, what type of clothes you wear. They're looking at how you communicate with the other men in that social group. They're looking at how you communicate with the other women. They're looking at how you communicate with your mom, your dad doesn't matter. Women look at everything. They look at how driven you are, how ambitious you are. They look at the person as a whole. They look at the personality. Men are sold at what they see at face value and women just aren't. That means she's trying to constantly like you, you might be wondering why, why is this? because she's trying to get a read or gauge your status level. You display your status level through your sub communication and how you interact. Okay. So what she's going to be looking at is she's going to be looking at your vocal tone. She says, well, Hey, is his voice direct? And is it is is he confident? Is his voice direct? Does he communicate? Well, does he seem shy and timid? How eager is he to see me? Okay, I messaged him first. Or I texted him first, or I sent him a direct message on Instagram. Two to three texts later, is he already trying to see me that same week? If he is low value, if he is potentially now I'm not interested. You see every move that you make, every word that comes out of your mouth dictates your status level in the eyes of a woman. So this is what she's doing. She's looking at everything. She's looking at the person as a whole. If a woman is around uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and she says, man, I'd really like to go out and get coffee with you this week. Chances are he's not going to look at her and go, Man, you're so attractive. I'd like to go out and get coffee with you too. Oh my gosh, when are you free? No, no, no. Because what what does that mean? That means he he's no longer Leo. Now he's different. Now he not, like now he she's not sold on him, right? Like Leonardo DiCaprio is only him when he acts like him when he acts correctly. So this is what I'm trying to show you. She's looking at everything. So she's going, hey, is his voice direct and is his voice confident? How eager is this guy to see me? Okay, how quick does he text message me back? Does he leave me on red sometimes where it's like what I said, maybe not even be that important. If you're doing those things, status increase, if you're doing those things, signaling to her that hypergamy is satisfied. If you're doing these things, signaling to her that your sexual market value is high. This is important. How quick does he text back? Is he shy or timid? Okay, not only that, is he driven or is he ambitious? Does he have a good personality? Guys, women look at everything, literally everything. They look at you as a whole. They're not just looking at the external. They're not just looking at the superficial. They are looking at everything. Women show their value. Men, men, that value is deep inside. You got to pull that value out of you and you got to demonstrate the right things through not being needy, not wanting to see her very often, not texting back very quick. Okay. If, if you see that she has high interest in you, the second you reciprocate that high interest, what you've done is you've actually changed the psychological perception of where she gauges you and your sexual market value. She looked, she's right here. She looks at you like, like you're up here. She's looking at you like, man, he has high sexual market value. Okay. 
One mistake after another, texting back too quick, seeing her too often, wanting to reciprocate that interest, each time you're lowering it and you're lowering it and you're lowering it and hypergamy is less satisfied and less satisfied and now you're here. Now right here, it's like, but you started as a 10 and now you're about a six. She maybe is still giving you a couple chances, but you're, you're treading, like you're, you're treading on thin ice or you're running low on time. You're on a, you're on a short leash right now because one or two more mistakes later. Now look at how the tables turn. Now she looks down on you. Now she doesn't want you. This is how this works. This is how this operates. This is how women respond to men. A guy who's a textbook 10 out of 10 can make so many mistakes in a row or even just a few of them in a row where she, now she looks at him as a 6.5. And that dude who's only five foot seven, who has a skateboard and hasn't had a job the past three weeks, but he's just kicking back doing whatever he wants. And he's not really sold on her. Now that guy all of a sudden looks like an 8.5 and now you just lost the girl. That's how this works. It is all based off of status. It is all based off of how she perceives you. High value is a perception. That is why I keep trying like over the past couple months on this whole YouTube channel, I try to emphasize high value is not your bank account, it is not how tall you are, it is not all of the superficial things on the exterior, it is the things on the internal. It is how, like, if that millionaire sends one text message that says, baby, you mad at me, please please text me back, I'm worried, low value, failed the interest test, no longer high value. Like, this is how this works. The second you reciprocate a woman's high interest is the second that she doesn't want you. So she's looking at everything. Women show their value and we can obviously see that. Men, that value is deep inside and you have to pull it out of you. So what does that mean? That means reciprocating her high interest in you. If you're a man and you've reciprocated her high interest, meaning she's texting you a lot, so you text her a lot. She hearted your last message, so you heart the last message. She sends you a smiley face or a winky face, you send one back. The second you do these things, it tells her one of three things or a combination of all three. The first possibility is she looks at him and she goes, I'm above him. That's it. I'm above him. I am better than him. I'm above him. I can do better. That, that's the first thing that needs to sink in. Cause like I said, I'm trying to show you these. So you understand and internalize these lessons before you have to go through them on your own. That's the first thing. The second thing, and she might say subconsciously, he's in the same league as me and our sexual market value is equal. Well, if our sexual market value is equal, there's a very high chance hypergamy is not fully satisfied. The third possible thing is I can tell girls would not be as into him as I thought. So I wouldn't, so I would not be either. Say that with me again. I can tell girls would not be as into him as I thought they would be. So I'm not going to be into him either. This is the only three things that can go through her brain. It could be one of them. It could be a combination stack of all of them, but that's it. So what's the takeaways from this? When you notice a woman has high interest in you, if she approached you at a restaurant, if she approached you at a bar out with friends, you're chill and you're laid back. This is an everyday common occurrence for you. You could take it or leave it. Okay. Common occurrence. You're signaling that your league is very high that you're in. You're signaling that you have high status. This is important. It's sub communication. It's vocal tone. It's not talking too fast. It's not being eager to carry on that conversation. Okay. That's first. The second, what you need to understand is it's your job to respond slow. The way you increase seduction, the way you increase sex appeal in a woman's brain is you use long extended time delays. This can show up in your messages. This can also show up in your speech. She asks you a question. You take two seconds. You go, Hmm. Hmm. Well, I suppose you see what I'm saying? Take that a step further. Text messages. She texts you. Maybe you take uh, maybe you take three, four, five, six hours to reply. Maybe you don't reply at all to that one. Like just like women do women do these things. You'll, you'll notice if you say the wrong thing, they don't reply because they naturally come from the standpoint of abundance. You need to start looking at yourself as if you have high sexual market value too. You need to start looking at yourself as if you have just as much pull as they do. This is very important to comprehend and to internalize. Another thing, no emojis. The second you start using emojis, winky faces, smiley faces, all this stuff, what is that doing? 
All that is doing is saying, Hey, I really like you. I'm already sold on you. Um, I really want you to think that I'm interested in you. So that way you reciprocate that interest back to me. So I'm going to send this smiley face to make sure that I have certainty in your interest level too. So hopefully you send one back. Women can see that and women can sense that women can feel that the best way that you can act superior is you respond always on your own time and you act like this occurrence, this date, this woman who has interest in you, this, you have to bring the energy that this is a common everyday occurrence, that this happens to you twice a day. If you act like that, she's going to be very, very interested. She's going to be very attracted and she's going to maintain that attraction. Another thing, the only way to satisfy hypergamy is to act like this. So these are the only ways to satisfy hypergamy. You do respond slow. You have those long time delays. You operate on your time. You don't act thirsty. You don't act needy. You always act as if you have high sexual market value because that's what she is trying to do 24 seven. They are all status driven. She's trying to get a read on where you're at. She's trying to get a read on who you are. So here's the funny thing too. This is where when you'll see guys who have a lot of status or guys who are ripped or guys who are rich, you'll see guys, you know, they have, um, they have, they have, let's say 250,000 Instagram followers. They have, um, let's say they have 2 million bucks locked away in the bank. They own a Maserati and they have a seven bedroom house and let's say they're six foot six. Well, on paper, he's very high value. This is going to pique her interest. She's going to be attracted to that guy, but it's superficial because like I said over here, this is oftentimes bad news because the game has only began now. Like I told you over here, women look at everything. So what's she doing now instantly? Instantly she starts testing him. She's trying to qualify. She's trying to get a read on him. She's trying to see, like how he is on the inside. Does he act needy? Does he act thirsty? Does he act like he needs to see me? How interested in me The set? How interested is, is he in me? The second that that man starts showing too much interest in her is the second that she pulls back that high interest because you're not as high value as she thought you were. If you carry yourself like a King, the illusion should be that you have many. If you carry yourself like a king, the illusion should be that you have plenty. If you carry yourself like a king, the illusion should be that every single woman wants to be your queen. This is how you have to act. I did not make up the game. I did not invent the game. I've just taken the past 10 years of my life and I've learned how to play it. So here's the funny thing too. If you guys like videos like this, a lot of your friends, a lot of your family members are going to like, if they look, if they see you and they see that you put a lot of focus into this, here's what you got to understand. You will get a lot of, uh, I don't want to say backlash, but you 100% are going to get some people who raise an eyebrow and they say, you don't have to worry about that. Just live life. That's what they're going to tell you. They're going to say, just live life. They're going to say, um, don't be so interested in this. And they're going to say, this is weird. You need to just let things happen. And when you meet the right girl, you meet the right girl. Okay. Here's why you can't listen to that bullshit. I'm going to tell you this in the modern world right now. Okay. We are not able to net like men are not able to gauge each other's status level. And what that means is when you're walking down the shopping mall, when you're walking down the street, a woman has no idea what, like what your true status level or sexual market value is when it comes to dating. She may on the external regarding your career, if you show up in a BMW or a Maserati, it may signal high value, but where you stand on the sexual market value or on the sexual playing field, amongst the other men, she has no idea until she starts to get to know you. So here's what you have to understand. Right now we live in a world where majority of guys, I would say don't have a lot of dating success. Okay. And you see how this is going. Guys are glued to their cell phones. Okay. A lot of them are socially awkward. Um, a lot of them at one point have had a girlfriend, but then she pulled away and he has no idea. A lot of times if they get married, a lot of times the woman will just leave and divorce him. And then a lot of times him trying to get back out in the game and actually date again can be very hard. So what you're going to notice is that majority of the people basically have no fucking success. If you notice that the majority of the men do not have a lot of dating success, it's okay to be like <laughs> looking at that as a man saying, you know what? I'm going to do things opposite. I am going to actually get success in these areas because I now have inside information that the majority of guys don't have. This is very important to internalize. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.